close. Oh! Oh! Woo! That was close. <laughs> That's what you call a shaver tilt a whirl. What's up? It's Eric. I'm out here with the Arm Italian uh, XL, my custom Italian build. Uh, basically a 1 7 scale on a Mojave chassis. Uh, this is my second video with this, with this truck. Uh, I've been playing with it in the yard and stuff and just decided to go ahead and get this baby back out. It's a true pleasure to drive for sure. Um, it does have a Proline Ford Raptor body on here. I chose this body because I already had it for one, plus it, uh, it's got the length on it because of this extended cab, I'm assuming, to where it fit all the way up to the rear tower. Really nice. So it just uh, closes everything up. I'm also running M2C plus five millimeter hexes on here, which was perfect for this platform. So it gave her an inch wider all the way around. Uh, plus with the Mojave chassis, it's two inches longer. So this is two inches longer and one inch wider than a standard Italian. It is running a Creighton 4S wing on here. I thought it uh, fit, the, fit the truck perfectly. Um, and big shout out again to Kimberly Sanchez uh, for her uh, Basher Queen parts. It does have Basher Queen tires on the front end and then the rear right here. And also the uh, Ackerman bar right there, the steering uh, plate is the uh, Basher Queen carbon fiber. Um, it is running all M2C upgrades in here. Again, the M2C chassis and also the new M2C drive shafts in the center right here. Again, this is for the Mojave, and they are uh, fattened in the center, then they taper down. Uh, but if you're going to run a build like this, whether it be on a Creighton platform or Italian, I would also recommend running a tower-to-tower -tower brace, simply because the chassis is so long, it will flex. The M2C drive shaft is definitely much stronger, won't bend near as easy, but just for the extra insurance, uh, the tower-to-tower -tower brace uh, uh, works nice. I'm running a Power HD 23 kilogram uh, servo in here with a Hobby Star uh, 2000 kV motor on a 19 tooth pinion and also a Max 8 ESC. I wanted to keep the electronics light in this truck to keep her as light as possible. And this thing has loads of power with that system right there for sure. I'm gonna try the Belta guitars on here first. I did bring a set of the regular guitars in case these get too bouncy. We'll just see how they do. As far as the diffs, it's running 50,000 in the front, 1 million in the center, and then uh, 30,000 in the rear. All right guys, here's a quick shot for comparison purposes uh, between the regular Italian, the Italian Stallion, and then the uh, Monster XL. You can definitely tell she's longer and wider. So she's definitely the uh, monster Italian on the block. Yeah, she is a little bouncy with these tires. A little bit less speed too with no ballooning. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, that was close. All right, guys, I decided to go into a tire swap, put on the regular guitars. The belt ones are just a bit too bouncy. But here's a quick shot of the M2C plus five millimeter uh, universal hexes, which is perfect for an application like this, or if you want to truckify a Typhon to get that extra width on it. These are also universal. They'll fit uh, Techno, uh, uh, Low C, stuff like that. They got different pinholes right here for the different axles. So they fit the entire 6S line. Just another genius upgrade by M2C Racing. sideways there. Oh. Woo, that was close. <laughs> That's what you call a shaver tilt-a-whirl. It's a new trick.
All right, guys, we're changing spots at the construction site. This is definitely where a big four-wheel drive truck comes in handy. Because a lot of times I have to uh, four-wheel over a lot of, a lot of rough terrain and ruts and stuff to get up to these spots. But it's a whole lot of fun in itself. All right, guys, I had to switch packs real quick. A lot of people ask me what uh, batteries I use. I thought I would just share this real quick. I hear lately the past uh, three or four months, I've been stuck on the CNHL packs, the China Hobby Line packs. Uh, super, super powerful. A lot of speedrun guys use these for speedruns and have exceptional results. Uh, this is the 5,000 milliamp 65C discharge, uh, the black series. I also run the whites the, uh, with the 90C 5200 milliamp. I mean, super powerful batteries. And uh, so far, I love them. Haven't had one fail me yet. <laughs> that was a uh, Basher Queen tower test. Tried to get a quick backflip and it didn't quite happen. They look good from what I can tell. Basher Queen tough. Woo, that was close. All right, guys, it's time for some speed launches. I threw one a 27 tooth pinion. Um, I wouldn't recommend that bashing whatsoever. Uh, this is just for a, a few speed launches. I did go back to the belted guitars for this. Uh, so far, these tires have held up to a 27 tooth pinion on high speed launches. So we'll see if they hold up again. That's the uh, beauty of these uh, tires right here. All right, guys, let's see what's up. That was a nice free fall. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the uh, second big blast of a uh, Big Bird here, the Italian 17 scale, uh, the Italian XL on a Mojave chassis. Uh, this, this truck is an absolute pleasure to drive. I mean, it's just uh, handles so well and flies so nice. Uh, there's no brakes on the truck. Uh, there's a little bit of clicking you guys may have heard in the uh, construction site. I actually had a uh, front diff bearing blow out and also a drive cup snap. Uh, but other than that, nothing is broke on the truck. The chassis is still perfectly straight, the M2C chassis. And also these M2C uh, drive shafts up here, uh, despite even some of those harsh uh, sideways landings, these uh, drive shafts are still perfectly straight. That's a huge testament to uh, M2C tough right there. And I think that the uh, M2C drive shafts are also helping save the arms because you're not getting that uh, insane overflex because the uh, drive shaft will actually stop the overflex because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to bend. So that's a so that's a win-win situation right there. Again, a big shout out to M2C Racing, Mitchell and Avery Looper for all the awesome upgrades. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check out uh, all the upgrades it took to build this truck. It was a whole lot of fun. We'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81. Peace out.